Hey YouTubers, here's my, here's the uh, video on a full shop tour. Uh, I had a lot of requests from uh, quite a few uh, subscribers. They wanted to see uh, a full tour, and, and this past winter I had too many cars in here because I store cars in the winter. But most of them are out. They're all up at that one Mercedes Benz. That's not mine. A lot of my cars are outside. I have a lot of cars myself. Uh, from here. Way past that Kaboa tract you see over there, that's 89 feet. 89 feet, kitty quarter, the kitty quarter. Uh, the building is uh, 72 times 54. It's just under 4,000 square feet. The ceilings are 17 feet high. There's some of the banner, banners, guy, guys. Let's take a little walk around here. Try to go slow here. Here's where I keep my extension cords. Here's the meat, meat and potatoes of the building. Tour amp service. And I got another tour amp box there that goes to the house. Uh, I don't have three phase, but there's a lot of juice going through this building. I got, there's one of my phones. I got phones all over the place. I got three TVs in here. Those are jacks for the TVs. I got a 65 inch TV upstairs. You probably can't see it from here. And a 32 in the office and a 55 in the, uh, the main shop. And I'll show you in a minute. There's some of the stuff I keep in stock. Bulbs. Over here is nuts and bolts. Guys, you gotta have this. I'm gonna tell you why. You know, you're working on cars. If you gotta if you gotta leave leave the project and go downtown and get some hardware, time, time is money. You're wasting gas. You're wasting uh, you're gonna pay more per piece. So I buy it I buy it by bulk and I stock up on it. I got this side's all metric here. And the other side's all uh, all SC, and I got other stuff in here. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I don't want to bore you too much. I go all the way from, I don't know, I go to from four to, I go from four to like 40, uh, 14 there, brake components. I'm trying to get by this car. Uh, on this side's all SC. I go from, I got machine screws up there, 440 all the way to, I don't know, 14, 14 uh, 24. Quarter, I go all the way down to 7, uh, seven eighths inch. With a big, that's, a big, that's a big bolt, 7 eighths. That's pretty big. And over here we got the, uh, but you gotta have that guys. We got the, the man cave uh, refrigerator. How do you like what that says? Stop! I want you brought beer. <laughs> Look inside of here. What do you think's in here? Beer and more beer and the uh, the white swine. Oh, so I got a of mustard too. Over here, I got a freezer. Get back again where you can see that. The There's like 200 containers there, guys. I'm trying to keep focus. I got to focus there a little bit when I'm getting too close. There's the upstairs. I did a video on Ash. I'm not going to go up there. There's the upstairs. It's 14 by 19 upstairs. There's a bed up there. There's a dartboard, big clock, a little kitchen table, a bench. That clock is almost three feet in diameter, guys. <laughs> Ceilings are 17 feet high. This is all the stuff I stock. Filters, oil, grease, transmission fluid, degreaser, PB blaster, uh, so I don't know, string, pledge, 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 transmission fluid, I didn't already say that, all kinds of chemicals, waxes, nuts and bolts. There's a quadrille jet. I put one in a Q-Jet. Edelbrock. I put that in a Chevelle. 750, and I, I uh, was jetted out to like uh, eight, 850. There's a fuel pump for my Hondas. I keep one in stock because I got a lot of Hondas. And you got three main do doors over here, and these are 14 by 14. Those are big doors, guys. Tra a trailer truck in back in here, guys. I got cars outside, too. I'll just give you a, you know. 
I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's cars out there that are mine. I kept them out so I could uh, do this. But man cave, I'll go in here briefly. This is the office. It's, it's dark in here. I don't know how it's going to come out, but the couch, office desk, bathroom, which is not done yet, the bar, 32-inch Sony TV Bravo. That was that was a nice TV in its day. That's 12 years old now. Going back out, like I said, 70 by 54. There's some of the big banners hanging from the ceiling. We're going to go to the back wall and work our way around the perimeter here now. I did a video on this guy. That's one of my that's one of my rangers. I got a lot of money in that that thing. Another one behind it, stock one. That one's stock. That's an 800. That one's a thousand. Compressor. Engelson Rand. This is a two-stage guy. So it goes all the way to 175 psi. It's 24.3 cfm's at 90 pounds. It's seven and a half horsepower engine. 80 gallon tank. It's as big as you can go uh, without needing uh, three phase. As big as you can go, guys. There's the model number 2475. Engelson Rand. That's a nice compressor. That was all I wanted to do. I piped it in a perimeter with copper. If you can see it, it goes all the way around the perimeter and it com comes down. There's like eight quick connects all over the, those two walls. Past the Chevelle. Those are the air hoses. Four floor jacks. I did a video on this guy. This is a bad boy. This is a 50 ton Archon, Archon press. And this is made, made in USA. I try to buy things made in USA whenever I can. Look at that. I think it's South Carolina, out of South Carolina. See, I, see, I, saw, yeah, I think it's South Carolina it was made. Big, a big dial there to see, especially if you're blind, like I am. That's my 396 block that came out of Chevelle. It's not a matching numbers one. That came out of a 70. My car's a 68. I may rebuild that. I don't know. You guys let me know if I should rebuild that. I might just buy a crate engine. Coca-Cola. That's a hot dog machine. That's a microwave. Hot air fryer. Electric frying pan, popcorn maker, and a little crackpot. Some of my uh, neon signs, they're not on. We'll back here a little bit. 55-inch TV, Jeff Shop. Kubota dealership sign. 20-foot-long workbench. It don't look like it's 20 feet in here, does it, guys? A couple stools. Uh, Wilton, 8-inch vice, Wilton on that end, Wilton on the other end, and a grinder, bench grinder in the middle made by Delta, variable speed, which is nice. I kind of wish it was on a stand, but uh, sometimes it's in your way. You know, all kinds of uh, grinders and sanding disc and, and blades in the back. Some more neon signs there. Some Milwaukee tools. Look at that, guys. That's a that's a uh, porcelain license plate, 1915, Massachusetts. Uh, that, that's in real nice shape. That's worth some money. I bought that on eBay about eight years ago. That's probably worth a couple hundred bucks now, in that kind of shape. I, yep. You guys, let me know what you think about that. There's the other vice. A couple a couple uh, bench seats. This is where we hang out. Sometimes on Friday nights, either we're here. That's a love seat. Did I say love seat? <laughs> but that's what it is. A little two-seater. And there's always somebody sitting. I never get a chance to sit there. I, I'm always standing up. And we go up there in the man cave. Ganchy crane. That's a three-ton, guys. Three-ton ganchy crane. That's a bear. I pull the engine out and put one in back in. I can do it all by myself. One-man show. I don't need any help at all. Now with this, see if I can get it in here for you. 6,000 pounds, guys. Now this is adjustable. I got this up to uh, 14 feet, but it is adjustable. And the crane, the uh, the bent pack 10,000 pound lift, that's uh, 14 feet, uh, four inches, I think. 
They're both nice to have. Put it back over here in the back wall here. Coat rack, old, old uh, Craftsman uh, drill press. Uh, I got some torches there, acetylene torches and oxygen. B tanks, I've had them forever. Did a video on those guys. You guys love those old, old Craftsman panel wrenches. Those are ones in the early 80s. I got a lot of good feedback on that. I was very happy with that video. I got a Miller Thunderbolt stick welder and a Miller Matic 252 MIG welder. Nice welder, guys. I really enjoy using that. Easy to use. Just some lights. It's the heater. I heat it with gas. It looks small in here, but boy, it throws some heat. That's my toolbox. Did a video on that. Uh, I got a new one coming, guys. Hey, ain't subscribed. Think about subscribing. I've been doing it for four months. Uh, I'm trying, guys. YouTube's tough. Uh, I got I got some I got close to 400 subscribers. I'm very happy about that. And the guys that have subscribed, thank you very much. Really appreciate you supporting the channel. I got a new one coming. It's on back order. I'm not gonna tell you what what, what the brand is. Let that be a surprise for you guys. That one is pretty. That one there's pretty big though. I don't know what it looks like in the video, but that thing's 14 feet long. <laughs> 50 something drawers. I got the Chevelle on the left. The trainee's back in it, guys. I haven't buttoned it up yet. You can see wires and shit hanging. Header's got to go back on. Dry shaft's got to go back on. Got to reclock the starter. I got to do starter. I got to reclock that. Rewire it. Transmission jack there. But uh, you're going to hear, hear that run pretty soon. I'm going to do a video on that for you guys. The five, that, that 502 screams. A couple uh, high high support lifts. Gotta have them with a lift, with a with a car lift. Oil recovery tank, telescopic goes all the way up. That's nice to have. You put the air to it. You want to put a bigger tank after. Recovery chains, mostly for my Kubota. That one there is, I think that's half inch. Those are heavy. That one's heavy, half inch, and I got uh, three eighths, a couple other sizes, but that that one there's big. Recovery straps, some hardware, you know, D rings and uh, draw bars, whatnot. Engine stand. That's the Kubota. I'm doing some work on that right now. That that bucket is 12 feet in the air, 13 feet in the air. On top of that bucket is. So that's how high that's how high my ceilings are. That's 20 years old. That's an old three, guys. It's a really nice shape. That's how I get my oil. Great big tanks. That's the way to buy it. Pressure washer. That's a big one. It's a champion, 4,000 psi. Four G GPMs. That was expensive. That was over $1,000. That's a shop grill. A couple big ladders. One of them's a 14-footer, you know. Going back here, this is a far corner. Like I said, I got car, I got cars out there. Got three cars out there of mine. That's a big machine, that Kubota. That's a that's a small M. That's a big series of M's that are big. It's the big class. So it's not a small machine. I got three professional commercial graded lawnmowers, Husqvarna, Gravely, and Kubota. I mean, excuse me, Skag. Did you guys see this? Well, I think I didn't show any video. Look at my rear end says in the Chevelle. Big swinging dick. <laughs> a lot of upgrades to this car. Bilstein shocks, sway bars, Hoskins uh, upper and lower control arms. Did a lot of work on that car. Yeah, that's about it, guys. That's a complete tour. Uh, I hope you liked it. It's uh, Like I said, it's almost 4,000 square feet. Might not look big in the video, but uh, you can feel a lot of cars in here, guys. Trust me when I say that. It's 54 deep, 70, 70 wide. And like I said, the ceilings are uh, 17 feet high. Those are some. Those are the banners. All right, guys, that's about it for today. Uh, stay tuned for more goodies.